Auguste de Searle uses oil paint for this portrait of the colony's most famous Aboriginal personality, Bungaree, a Karingai man. He wears the uniform of a Commodore, one of the many uniforms that he'd been given over the years when he was assisting as an interpreter and a go-between. Earl paints him here in his favourite role, that of a highly gifted mimic. He could evidently impersonate with astonishing accuracy the voice and bearing of past and present governors of New South Wales. Back in London, Earl makes a lithograph from his portrait of Bungaree, but in this mass-produced version, he produces a sort of comic opera stereotype for a popular market. The basket of empties beside him implies alcoholism. But Bungaree was a man of distinction. He was the first Aboriginal person to circumnavigate Australia, when in 1802, he sailed with Matthew Flinders on the Investigator, proving beyond question that the East and West Coasts were part of the same land mass. The lithograph plays to the gallery, but the oil painting immortalises the man that Matthew Flinders praised for his intelligence and reliability, calling him a worthy and brave fellow who on more than one occasion saved the expedition. So it seems we have Bungaree to thank for some measure of the success of that historic voyage that gave the Western world its first map of Australia and us our name, not Terra Australis, but Australia.